Okay, safe travels. There's something different about you. Can't quite put my finger on what. But I swear, I'm not imagining. I'm impressed, Sam. You've brought pretty much the entire region together. But the further west you head, the more you're going to have to deal with BTs. Now, we're always looking for new, more permanent solutions. And we know your blood has a measurable effect on them. I told you before that Mama's developing a weapon to leverage that, which is why we need a way to artificially produce more of it. Hence the cryptobiomes. But maybe you already figured it out. If all goes according to plan, we might be able to turn the tide. But first, it's time to bring Port Knot City into the UCA. The order from Die Hartman is waiting on the delivery terminal. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery to- Sam, I received word from Mama that she's completed her anti-BT weapon. Prototypes of her design form a part of your next shipment. A delivery of relief supplies for the people of Port Knot City. Port Knot City is a fair distance from BT territory, but the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. They'll also provide people with the means to defend themselves when traveling outside the city limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines, as well as human sperm and egg samples. These specimens are essential for maintaining genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Kyrelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the Chiral network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. Details on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, this will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. That's a transfusion bag containing blood drawn from you. While equipped, it'll gradually replenish yours. Sam. This is our first attempt at developing an anti-BT weapon. I had to work fast with what we had, so they're basically modified hand grenades. At least, that's how they're meant to function. They've never actually been tested in the field. Who knows? You might be the first person to kill a BT. And wouldn't that be something? But, even if they do work, don't forget that they're fueled by your blood. Use too much and You'll give yourself anemia. Thank you. 
Sam. 